Well, we were asked to make a small presentation for the Christina and Paul Martin Foundation. This foundation has supported the hepatobiliary service for the last several years, and now they've become interested in helping uh, support our laboratory. So my name is Ron DiMatteo. I'm the Vice Chair of Surgery at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. And we have a laboratory that studies the immune system in terms of liver, bile duct, and gallbladder cancer. So the extent of the problem is quite significant because tumors involving the liver cause a lot of deaths in this country and across the world. Overall, cancer is the second leading cause of mortality in this country. There's a number of tumors that begin in the liver, and again, they can start in the bile duct, in the gallbladder, or in the liver itself. There's also a, an enormous number of patients in whom the tumor starts somewhere else and then spreads to the liver and ultimately causes their demise. So our laboratory is interested in a few different uh, parts of this problem. The first is uh, we are, we're trying to establish the immune system features within the liver. It turns out the liver is a completely uh, different organ in terms of the immune system than any other organ in the body. And in particular, we think that the liver is more susceptible to tumor growth because the immune system is not as strong. So we're trying to characterize what the normal immune system is within the liver, and we're doing this in both experimental mice, and we're also analyzing surgical specimens from the operating room. We've made a number of advances in understanding what's going on in the liver already over the last several years, and now we're turning our attention to looking at liver specimens from humans as well as livers from mice in which there's a tumor already growing. And this is hopefully going to allow us to identify new ways to use treatments from an immune point of view that could help uh, make chemotherapy and other standard treatments much more effective. The last uh, part that we're hoping to get to is taking specific cells within the liver and boosting their ability to fight cancer. In, in, especially we're interested in a cell called a dendritic cell. These are rare cells in the body and even more so in the liver, but they're sort of the orchestrators of the overall immune response in human beings and again in experimental uh, models using animals. So we're one, we've been one of the leading uh, laboratories in the world for studying these cells in, in mice and humans. We've actually had a significant amount of funding from the National Institutes of Health, which is very challenging uh, to keep going uh, these days. So we're hoping to target these cells either directly or use them in other ways where we can give them to patients in order to wake up the immune system in the liver and have them fight tumors. So overall, uh, we have a very ambitious plan. Uh, we feel that we are in a unique position because we do laboratory research and we treat uh, human patients on a daily basis. And we think uh, we're ideally situated to bring our new findings to immediate uh, clinical trials. We've had a, no a number of past experiences with uh, clinical trials that have helped change the standard of care in this country for other diseases. So I hope you'll support uh, this important foundation, and we look forward uh, to working uh, with Mr. Martin for several years to come. Thank you.